Hi, and a big welcome back to my channel. And I'm with a friend by the name of Scott. He has a YouTube channel too, called A Scott in China, correct? Correct. Right. And we're gonna talk about some of the things that have been taking place in America. We haven't even discussed it to prep ourselves. We're literally just off the cuff. My views and his views, I think, are a little different. But we'll find out in this discussion. He's gonna video his for his channel. I'm gonna video mine for my channel. And we'll upload them. Maybe I'll do more editing than he will, because that's my style. But um, the content should be very similar. Right, let's get into this discussion. Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Ching. And today we're out at this little lake here. We're walking along with uh, Tony from the YouTube channel, Mr. Tony. Check him out if you haven't already. And yeah, we're just going for a little walk. We've not had any discussion about what we're going to talk about today. Um, but we're going to have a little chat about the recent election in America, Trump coming back in as president. So, Mr. Tony. Yes. Hi. How do you feel about the election result? Uh, in one word, I would say ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? Oh my God. Well, that can't be answered in one word. So uh, I'll try to make it short. Um, I think the opponents, um, you know, the Harris campaign, I think basically after the last four years, if they continue down that way, um, then, well, the world would be a much worse place than it, than it is currently is if it continued. And I think they were going to continue. There was no decisive policies that Harris was making. And I do think Trump is going to try to fix many of the stupid problems. Now, I don't mean when I say that Israel and Palestine problems, Iran problems, I mean stupid problems like men dressing up as women saying they've got gender issues and teaching that in schools. Um, and basically the, uh, the corrupt media in America. So those are my reasons why. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I Thank would you very say, much for watching. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Sums it all up. Let's go. Yeah. Um, okay, I'd say I'm less ecstatic, yes. more ambivalent. Okay. I don't really care. I've been thinking about quite a bit the last few days. Yeah. In that, okay, you look at Donald Trump. Yeah. Uh, bankrupt four times. Oh, okay. He has sent a lot of small businesses, the people he claims to represent. Yeah. He's sent a lot of them to the wall by not paying his bills over 20, 30 years. All right. Okay. Um, and yet he claims he's a good businessman, which I don't know how they tally. Uh, you've got the self-admitted <laughs> sexual assault stuff. If you're rich and famous, you can grab women by the, you know. Yeah. Um, having affairs with a porn star while his third wife is yep. pregnant with his child and he claims to be a family man. Uh, You've got all these problems. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Whether they're all true or not, or how true they are, I don't know, but they're all out there. And yet people vote for him. Well, you started that one by saying, well, you just ended that one by saying whether they're true or not, yet people vote for him. All right, so now let me just turn this a little, if you, if you don't mind. Go for it. I've known you for six months. I've known you for six months. If uh, someone comes up to me and says, hey, I've never met that guy you're, you're talking to on YouTube. I've never met that guy you're talking to in Jiaoqing in China, but I think he's had several relationships. I think he's, he's been bankrupt twice. I think he's got some dark history. And I go, oh, fuck, I didn't know that. Best I believe you. But I know you, so why should I believe him? Because the stuff with Trump is documented. Is it? The yeah, but grabbing it, by the pussy, we heard in his own words. You think you and I have never said things like that? Does that mean we can never have a position of power because no. we've said something? No. Right, but, but... 
Trump has never backed away from this. So? And as a public representative, right. I think you should be held to a higher standard. I know most of them aren't. I mean, okay. Bill Clinton, when he was in office, yep, you we know, know what, you what happened there. Yeah. Um, I did not have relationships. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. just. Yeah. Okay. Um, so everyone must be sweet. So, but and, but yeah. that's not the issue. It's not the issue that he's done all these things. Yeah. The issue is what he says. Yeah. Compared to what we can actually see, okay. like saying, "Oh yes, I'm a good Christian." Hello. Well, hello, hello Hi hello, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> well, no, you. Sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you. You know, claiming to be a good Christian man uh -huh. when all this stuff is going on. No, you're not. Now, as bad as I think this stuff is. Does that mean a, a person, if it does something wrong, they can never be forgiven? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. They should, yeah, everybody never. can be forgiven. Oh, right, okay. No, no, I was saying absolutely not to that statement. All right. Um, no, 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 but if you're going to keep doubling down and saying that you're this and you're this and your actions are proving otherwise, yeah. why should you be believed? But getting to the other side, so Hillary Clinton, I think, made a big mistake when she was running in 2016 with the deplorables comment. Yeah. Saying that people who were voting for Trump were deplorables because they, they're supporting this kind of behavior, yeah. which I think was absolute garbage. Uh, people were supporting Donald Trump yeah. because even with, if, if everything you've heard about him is true, yeah. even with all them faults, it's better than the current political system in America. You know, the politicians are all corrupt. The, you know, you can't run for election without m pulling in hundreds of millions of dollars. I, I, I think what you're saying now is, is also the reason why seven, at least 72 million people have said, yeah, OK, let's say he did have those affairs. Let's say he did grab a woman. Uh, let's say that's true. He did go bankrupt. But the good he can do for the country because of his power, Over his ways. influence, overweighs the problems that he's done in the past. Yeah, I, I agree entirely. I mean, I get, I've get i watched a couple of videos on the reaction to the Trump victory and you know, I've heard a couple of other commentators saying, yeah. these disgusting people who vote for Donald Trump. No, they're not. They're just sick of the status quo. Yeah. I mean, and I can't blame them. You know, good on them. I, uh, yeah, America needs changing. I, I also think, um, maybe, I don't know if any of you viewers would agree with this one, I think it's pretty much impossible to become a millionaire, a billionaire, a multimillionaire, and not have committed at least one or two. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, to get that yeah. higher level, you, you've got to say someone, sorry, mate, yeah, that's not, I'm going to, you know, whether you're going to break their legs or have someone do something nasty, or you're going to have an affair with someone because you was... For whatever reason, it's hard to be that wealthy and not have done something wrong. Ah, well, like they say, uh, what is it? Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. Yeah. You know, the more power you've got, yeah, you, and yeah. especially if you're in a place where you can get away with stuff if you've got money. Yeah. Um, so going back to your initial question about Trump, I'm glad I, I can forgive him for his past. I can. I. I can't forgive the, his opponents. Hello. 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 I can't, Hello. You too. <laughs> I can't forgive his opponents for bullying him. Anyone to go through what he went through, you know, the, the possibility of going to jail, prison, um, all, his, all his history dug up like dirt um, by people who just hate him. They simply hate him that much. And I think millions of people around the world have seen that hate turn to kind of like a corruption themselves. And um, all those court cases, I mean, they, he didn't pay for all of them. They was paid by the taxpayer just to get revenge on Trump because they hate him that much. And in my lifetime... See, that's where I tend to disagree. But in my lifetime, I just want to say this. Yeah. I don't know for sure. I would say I've probably had about 25 scuffles with other men, okay? You know, in my army days and in my school days and on two occasions in China. Um, every one was about someone bullying 
either someone else or me. It was about bullying. Some, yep. it, it wasn't about sort of like, I just don't like you, whatever. You know, I'm not about football or had too much to drink. It was, there was a tendency of bullying and it's usually someone else. I hate bullies. And the Democrats have come across to me as nothing but bullies. And, and if you don't agree with them, they will bully you. If you don't agree with them, Oh yeah, I agree with that. And yeah. it's not just Democrats. I think it's both sides in America. <coughs> I've seen comments from politicians on both sides that are just. Oh look! Well, look at that woman. So, like, you go out there. If you see a Republican, you you tell them what you think. You stand up and you you know you fight back. And uh, that but that fight back went about hitting back. Um, Letitia James, we're we're prepared. We are prepared for what's coming up. You know, if he thinks we're, he's going to kick us out of the of our position of our office you know we are prepared wow what a nasty woman there's just so much hatred going on yeah you... oh, they, uh, i mean that's one of the big problems in Hi. america at the moment is yes <laughs> is I know the her. um division between left and right it's and biden said he's going to unite four years ago he yeah, said oh, did. he never didn't did. unite. no the division is now bigger than it's ever been it's bigger than it's ever been yeah, I'm, and just uh, and just to annoy you, the audience. One of the things I particularly hate. <laughs> I'm gonna maybe I won't even upload this because it's quite quite stupid to say that's it. That's okay. You'll get it from me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh shit, yeah. <laughs> I can't stand. Oh, I can't stand it when the media says, uh, blacks, coloureds, Africans. I can't stand it when I say it. It's just American. They're not black American. They're not African American. They're not coloured American. They're just Americans. Why does colour come into it? You know, whatever. Why say the colour? Yeah, that, that, uh, that to me also adds in the shit stirring. You know, oh, without a doubt. Black men voted for this and black women voted for that and white men, white women. What, leave the colour out of it. Yeah. What the hell has the colour got to do with it? I'm if you're an American and your skin is darker than mine, you're American. The, the shade and colour of your skin means nothing. It is just a social thing. Yeah, it's I the mean, Oprah Winfrey's. People people. It's the Oprah Winfrey's of the world. She's got billions of dollars and she will make sure that black Americans will always say they're African American. Yeah. Why? why? You've never been to bloody Africa. Yeah. yeah I'm you know what I mean? There. I'm not English Chinese. I'm an Englishman in China. Yeah. Uh, I'm not Australian Chinese. Uh, yeah. I certainly don't look it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so there we go. What are we going to walk across yeah, the middle here? Yeah, walk across the bridge. Yeah, that'd go around to the main road and be too noisy. Um. Jayo, Jayo. <laughs> Hi. I know that one. I used to teach her. Oh, did you? Yeah. <sighs> These young girls on their bikes out getting their exercise out here around the lake. Give you a quick look around here while we're uh, hey, it's a little lake near Tony's house. So we come out here for a walk. We come out here for a walk. When was that that we did that? About a month ago. We did, about a and, month ago. Uh, I had my, we were going to have a talk. I had my 360 camera on and I had the settings set to bloody uh, time lapse. So, yeah, that video never happened, unfortunately. So we're here now. We're going to get it done eventually. So, moving away from Trump. Oh, okay. Uh, we sort of know why Trump won. Yeah. Why did Harris lose? What do you <laughs> think she did wrong? Because <laughs> um, I've heard a lot of discussion about this online. Well, it, it, I'm being a bit facetious and sarcastic. It's more so much what her parents did wrong, actually. Her parents gave birth to Harris. She's been, <laughs> she's been one big mistake since the day she was born. And I, I am being sarcastic and humorous when I say that. She's got to where she is by manipulation or by knowing who she knows, not by being educated, not by being good at her job. Um, she's, She's been planted there at, at the moment and she hated Biden during the, the uh, preliminaries and she got voted in as the vice president. Yep. And that was because she's dark skinned and, and it's a woman, whatever. And it was one of his biggest rivals. 
But anyway, she got planted in there. She didn't do her job as the border um, czar. I think they use that phrase. Yeah, and, they, I did hear that, yeah. Yeah, and she never had, or she never highlighted any plan. She kept saying, of just a week ago, she was saying, we want change. But two weeks ago, she said she agrees with everything that Biden did. Yeah. So why would you uh, want to change something that you agreed with and, and you denied doing anything well, wrong? That for me was the big reason why, yeah. not Harris so much, but why the Democrats lost, was because people weren't happy with Biden. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah. People weren't happy with Biden. Yeah. And she is seen <coughs> as the vice president, as simply an extension of Biden. If the Democrats were going to get rid of Biden as the as the uh, candidate, they should have gone right away from the administration. It shouldn't have been someone else who's right in, right in there with him. Who I think that who, was a huge mistake. Who took Biden out? His wife? Oprah? Was it uh, Obama? Who said to Biden, right, you're no longer the president? Because he's been out the frame now for, for three months. I have no idea. I yeah. haven't followed it close enough to... Well, we know Harris has been much. chasing his position and, he, and he's had very little to say. Um, the point is, he was taken away as the president. He is still the president on paper, but he's done nothing that a president would do. He's a lame duck. And that's down to his health. You know, sort of like, why don't you just make Harris the president of the United States for the last two or three months and say, right, okay, now do your bit. Yeah. But instead it was done sneaky beaky, sort of like she suddenly slips in. There's something, who's running the country? And it's not those two people. Someone behind the scenes, scenes is running it. And I yeah. think it's Obama. The way he lectured the black community. Um, you're black, you should support other blacks. You know, so what? Yeah, I'm not for all that. You should no. support the people who've got the policies that you agree with. Not the yeah. person who's got the same skin colour as you. Hi. It, uh, it, yeah. Yeah, that whole playing race card politics. Uh, I'm not into that at all. Here's a question for you. Yep. How many, right, there's a, about 350 million. How, what percentage would you say are women? 50 percent? Yeah, okay, so let's say it's. I think it's slightly over. It's like 50.6 or something. Okay, so let's say it's 50 percent. So, so, um, 180 million people in America, maybe women. How many of those women want to get married or are married? Probably half, maybe more than half. Uh, that are married and want to get married at some point. Maybe more than half. How many of those would want to have children? Maybe 80%. So that means 20%, which is gonna be, I, I haven't calculated, but 20% of all that may not want to have a kid but do get pregnant an abortion was one of the top things it's such a small minority some women don't want to have give birth so they want an abortion at the last at the end of eight months um yeah i'm and, uh... Uh, such a small small percentage that took the whole of the harris campaign Oh, we're into women's rights, women's abortions. What's a man got to yeah, do with it? Well, a man put the bloody baby there. That's what he's got to do with it. Yeah, I mean, I agree that it should be a joint decision. Should be. Whether have an, ab yeah. an abortion or not. Yeah. But yeah. the woman has the final say. It is her body. Yeah, I'm done. I'm 100% with that. And it has been a big issue because of the ramifications of overturning a Roe v Wade. There are women in Texas now yeah. who can't get abortions because okay. hospitals will not do abortions because they're afraid of being sued. How, uh, how, many, how many potential fathers say to their wife or girlfriend, get rid of that baby. If you don't get rid of it, I'll do something, you know. Not many. Oh, God, no. Not I many. Think, I mean, there'd be a few, but yeah. And it'd those, be very low. Yeah. Low enough that I wouldn't even consider it as a thing in the argument but you know there has I uh, heard about a woman the other day who did die should have had an abortion because yeah. the fetus was really really there was something seriously wrong yeah hospital refused to do anything I think this was in Texas again I could be wrong on that yeah but because of the new laws that a state brought in yeah 
you have to have a good reason for doing an abortion. The doctors were afraid that the reason wasn't good enough. Woman died. Did um, the baby survive? No, no, baby. Baby was never going to survive. All right. So is, is, do, do some women, do you think, now think that this may be the common thing, that their own lives are at jeopardy, in jeopardy because they have to, have to give birth? I don't so, think it's the common thing. I think the big problem is, yeah. and it's a problem with a whole lot of issues, it's not yeah. just abortion. The big problem is that for a lot of people, they haven't had the experience of having to do this. So it's... It's a very intellectual exercise of saying, no, I disagree with this. But how many, how many politicians have you heard who are totally, say, anti-gay? And then they find out their son or their daughter is gay and their tunes change very quickly. Yeah. It's, it's all well and good to be against something when it doesn't affect you. Yeah. But you know, when it suddenly does affect you, <coughs> how does that change things? That if that changes your opinion, then maybe you weren't uh, being empathetic enough or something. I don't oh, know. Oh, play the violin. Okay, right. So, well, my views on this, I am a father. I have two children. I have five grandchildren. I don't have a view on this. If, if, if a woman's going to get an abortion, I think on a personal level, well, maybe that's her choice. Maybe she discusses it with the father, or maybe we should go back a little bit further and say, how the hell did you get pregnant? With so many devices on, on the available to us, so you don't get pregnant, you know, um, coils, pills, condoms, there's so much. If you don't want a baby, then don't, don't get pregnant. But sometimes it, they might get pregnant. You know, they, the accidents do hurt, occur. So, but I don't personally have a view on it. Well, I, I personally there was a don't care. Thirteen-year-old girl, yeah, who was raped. Yeah, that's how she got pregnant. Couldn't have an abortion. Should one rape, or should a hundred rapes, make the whole country change their rules and regulations? Uh, no, but I do believe abortion should be a right. If a woman doesn't want to be pregnant, yeah. I mean, the thing, the best way I've heard that situation explained is yeah. if. If I have some disease and I need a blood transfusion, yeah. And you have the matching blood type, yeah. Should you be compelled to allow me to use your body to keep me alive? You're Australian. Why should I? <laughs> you racist <laughs> bastard! <laughs> your arms. I'm not in your picture there. Okay. Oh, I'm All sorry. Right. All right. Okay. Um, should I be compelled by law? I, I don't think so. I'm yeah. not, what's the connection? Well, that's what a fetus is doing. A fetus is using the woman's body. If you're going to grant a fetus personhood, which a lot of the Christian right-wingers want wow, to do. Wow, this is interesting. As soon as you're yeah. conceived, it's a person. Yeah. Then that is a person using another person's body yeah. to keep itself alive. I see no difference. Um, oh, wow, you're saying that the fetus has no rights? No, 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 I'm not saying there's no rights. I'm, well, for me personally, I don't believe a fetus is a person. Until and it reaches viability. See, I'm, I'm happy for abortion up to like four or five months. After that, I get a little bit more sketchy. Well. Again, I might be pushing, you know, pushing the boat out here a bit too far, but judging by today's um, students and education standards and behaviour, I'm, I'm into abortion up until 17 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the problem is, like, I heard uh, Donald Trump at one point yeah. during the campaign, for sure, might have even been, been before the campaign, talking about this and late term he was talking about late term abortions which hi. is the last three months hello hi which were actually very very rare hi Gen hi hi <laughs> hello wonderful people yeah it's always good always interrupted generally <laughs> late term abortions are very very rare in america all right last three months they're not common but trump was talking about 
post-birth abortions. What After a... birth, having an abortion. You can't have an abortion. Abortion is the term, termination of a pregnancy. There, there are, there Once are, they're, they're born, there's been... murder. <laughs> There's been about a dozen of these instances where the baby's been born and they've left it on the table to look, defend for itself for several hours and until it died. Yeah, well, that's not an abortion. That's just malpractice and those doctors should be sued. Yeah. Well, that, I mean, once the that, baby's born, that's murder. It's not abortion. Right, but they... OK, yeah. So if, it, if it's happened, it's happened. Um, maybe the word abortion is the wrong word. I, yeah. I, I, it is the wrong word. It is, yeah. because an abortion is the termination of a pregnancy. That's yeah. simply what it is. Yeah. So, yeah, you need a different word after birth, which, you know, for me, <laughs> after, that's murder. Uh, that's after a word birth. that's already here. Yeah. Um, so let's get away from the American stuff. Oh, OK. Interesting. Where's this going? Relationship now with Trump in charge, yes. China, yes. America. Yep. What do you think is going to change? Or how will it develop? Um, the average person on the street is not going to, I don't think it's going to affect them at all. Um, no, I'm exactly the same, I don't yep. think. It will, I don't think it will make any difference whatsoever. It won't make any difference to the construction, the uh, development, the, uh, the infrastructure. They're still going to continue growing the way it is. Um, America will go more fossil fuel than it has been over the last few years. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Trump's China, already pushing that. And China will continue fossil fuels, which we know there's lots of them here, and it's, there's also lots of wind farms here as well. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not necessarily in favour of wind farms, I don't think it's the best way forward. Um, so the, the way the fuel is going to, it's, it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. It's mostly going to be about um, imports and exports that's yeah. going to affect China. Um, that's really bad. P politically, China is, <laughs> China does think of the future yeah, much more. Yeah, they have a much, much longer view. <laughs> yeah, they think than... 20 years ahead, not for every four years. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, China will have a plan. I've always said with the de democratic system, yes. having elections every four years, nobody's What's the point? doing long-term planning. Yeah, which uh, I've seen that in Australia. I'm sure you've seen that in England. Yeah, it just holds things back. Yeah, um, yeah. For me, like I look at the big thing that everyone talks about is the tariff war between China and America. Yes, yes, and. All the tariffs, all the bans and stuff that America's tried to do have just failed. I mean, it started, you look at Huawei. Yeah. They ban Huawei in America. And but they're they, pushing but, to ban them in Europe and stuff. Didn't Canada, you know, um, Buck not the trend? No, Canada blocked. Oh, the, 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 locked the, up the. Uh, yeah, the, the, the CEO. Her name, I yeah. can't remember her name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I For mean, two years. Know, that, and that was all on America's say so. Yeah. Uh, Finland have bucked the trend in the EU. Yeah. The EU's been pushing to ban Huawei. Finland have said, no, fuck you. We're still going to go. But if we look at the sales of mobile phones in China now. Stay with us. Apple. Stay with us. Apple have dropped yeah. out of the top five for the first time in many years. Yeah. And Huawei have just posted record profits. I'm going to say Then we look at TikTok. Yeah. They've banned TikTok in America. Right. Why? National security. Really? And TikTok comes from Singapore, doesn't it? Well, yeah, the CEO in America is Singaporean. Yeah. Nothing to do with China. Yeah. And the big thing was, oh, this, they're keeping everybody's data and selling it. <laughs> oh, yeah, like America just doesn't. Just like... Yeah. Facebook and Google and every other of the media company, the social media stuff. Yeah. Um, the cars, mm -hmm. they've just imposed 100% tariffs. How many electric vehicles have been sold in America? I don't think it's a big thing in America at the moment. I don't think the Chinese companies have really pushed in there. I don't know, I could be wrong. But so I don't think that's gonna change well, it, it, it could change. I'm just going to pause for a moment. It could, yeah. it could change for the better if China built factories in America. Then they wouldn't have to pay the tariffs. 
It's only because the, the factories are in China. Well, they're talking about building them in Mexico as we speak. No, I think, no, not China. I think it's American companies in America that are moving to Mexico. No, no, there's China. BYD have, I think, started building in mm. Mexico. Oh, well, they should consider moving then, then they won't have the problem. But yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it, the same thing's happening in Europe. You know, to get I mean, around, they're going to... Is there a Tesla factory here in China? Yeah, friggin' huge. Yeah. I want to so, go and look at that place one of these right. days. Right, so, so uh, he built... I mean, Elon Musk had the common sense to build it here. Yeah. If he, if he built that in Mexico and uh, exported to China, wouldn't have the same benefits. Yeah, absolutely. So Elon Musk would have to, oh, right, okay, let's build it in China. But the thing that gets me, uh, did you hear the thing with the Ford CEO? Uh, lots of things, go ahead. The Ford CEO, Yeah. I saw an interview with him. They imported one of these new Xiaomi SU7, the Xiaomi Sports. Oh, I know, I know the Xiaomi, yeah, 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 I like it. This, the Ford CEO has been driving this thing for six months. And? And he said, I don't want to give it up. Love it. <laughs> and, you know, mm. for the head of an automotive company to be driving an opposition car, that's just, that's crazy. I, was, I laughed when I heard that. Yeah. Um, the other one, they're talking about banning DJI drones now in America. I think they forget that they're not going to kill these companies. First of all, the Chinese people are going to just do the same they've done with Huawei. Yeah. If they see a company being treated in what they see as un, an unfair way, mm -hmm. they're going to dump the American stuff like they've done with Apple, yeah. and they're going to support the Chinese company. Mm -hmm. There's a market here of 1.4 billion people. These Chinese companies are not going to go broke. Yeah, they might not make as much money if they can't sell to America, but China's also doing really well in pushing into the, well, what we call third world countries, but... Well, six days, five days ago, I was in Vietnam. Yep. And they have a bridge to cross from... Uh, uh, I think it's called Mai Kai, Mai, Mai Kao Kai or something like that, um, and Dong, Dong Xiang Shi, or Dong Xing Shi, excuse me for bodging up that name, but anyway, it's right down the bottom left-hand corner of China, borders Vietnam, and they have a bridge with a red line painted in the middle, and people are exporting and importing daily. They've got loads and loads of bags on their backs, yeah. you know, sort of, you know, trolleys, loads of stuff going through. What happens in America? will not affect that trade one bit. No, Those, not at all. Yeah, it's, I mean, we have to be realistic, not just you and I, but I mean, people around the world have to be realistic. If you don't have a business and you don't particularly want to buy an electric car or any car, say for that matter, then this isn't really going to make any difference to no. us. You know, um, the only difference it will make is people like you and I who travel and this insanity of saying, that man dressed as a woman, oh my God, do I call him a man or a woman? What the hell? Because I'm going to be in trouble if I get it wrong. Do the you know. Australian thing. What's that? Call him mate. There you go, yeah. mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's right. I yeah. don't care whether you're a man or a woman. I don't know why you Americans do, do that. Do what you want. When they talk to someone, excuse me, sir, excuse me, ma'am, why do you say that? Just say mate. Yeah. Excuse me, mate, then you can't get it wrong. Yeah, yeah. it's very simple. It is. Problem solved. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, uh, uh, so anyway, so, you know, as, as long as, that kind of stuff, and even that really don't affect me. I, I've met one or two gay men in my life, and uh, I suppose I might have met one or two trans, but I didn't notice. Um, you know, I don't particularly care. But yeah, I, I absolutely don't care. I, yeah. just, I just don't want to hear about it anymore. Yeah. It's like, yes, there's people who are anti that stuff, who are homophobic or whatever. Yeah. And maybe they need to be educated a bit more, but I'm not homophobic. I don't care who you want to sleep with. I don't care what you want to wear. Yeah. Just stop talking about it, because... As long as it's not my girlfriend or my wife, it doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 yeah it's or, my, or my boyfriend. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, that's right. Why do they have to tell us? Why do you have to tell me you're gay? I don't care. I don't. Anyway. Anyway, so... Yeah, um, I just... Yeah, I'm just sick of hearing about it. That's one thing I love being here, like... Yeah. You know, I've seen... We go this way. And then... Okay, back yeah. around that way. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've seen... 
guys here doing yeah. the cosplay thing oh, with you? as girls. Oh, right, yeah, okay. not, not regularly, but yeah. I have seen it a couple Hello. of times. You know, they're not, they're not trying to be trans or anything. They're just, it's a character they like, they got dressed up. Yeah. I don't know that I've ever seen a trans person here in China. But I have met gay, hey, you. lesbian people. Well, if it's good makeup, you'll never know, will you? Well, that's exactly <laughs> right. I mean, I went for a walk in Paifong Square yesterday, and there are a lot of, mainly girls, but guys as well, in, yeah. in cosplay stuff. Yeah. And I was looking at the makeup, some of the girls. It was just exquisite. Mm. I'd never really taken much notice of them before, because okay. they're just doing their thing. I don't care. Yeah. Um, but I was actually taking notice because there were so many of them yesterday and I was just checking out all the girls' makeup around the eyes and stuff. My lord, they put some work into that stuff. Yeah, it's quite artistic. It yeah. is. It's yeah. friggin' phenomenal. Yeah. I, uh, yeah, I was really, really impressed. All right, so I'm going to talk to the camera now. We are about uh, three minutes from the end of this lake. Um, and so we're going to start closing it down. Before we do, any other subjects we should talk that's on our mind? Yeah, I would, I would say one thing. Yes. And this is for you, people who are commenting. You know, that me and Tony, we have agreed on some stuff. Oh, bike coming, let's yeah. move over. We've agreed on some stuff, we've disagreed on some stuff, but we've done it perfectly politely, no arguments, no, you know, no insulting behavior and all that sort of stuff. I would ask when you come and comment, yes, you have your opinion, but don't be rude. It's uh, everyone's entitled to their own opinion. So, yeah, that's all I'd say. I think uh, oh, diverse but, but, opinions but, and being able to talk about your opinions and even well, that, if you're not changing people's minds, at least people can understand where you're coming from. Okay, you know, so, so on that note, I would probably say, um, I'd like to say to your, your viewers and, and my viewers too, but um, it's quite obvious over the last six months, you've known that I prefer Trump. Um, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, and I noticed very early that you preferred not to have Trump. I won't say you preferred Harris, but yeah, you certainly- Yeah, no, I wouldn't say I preferred Harris. Right, okay, but preferred not to have Trump. And I've met lots of other foreigners, and one of the, the disturbing things, so I'm gonna stop now because this is important for me. I've not met many I can't even name the amount of people that support Trump, foreigners that are in China and support Trump. They all seem to be anti-Trump. So I've been rather alone in my views and opinions openly because I knew I would take some flack from other foreigners. And two days ago, I watched a video by the name of Jerry's Take on China. Yep. Jerry's Take on China. Great intellectual guy, he's done lots of videos, and he started his interview with these other three gentlemen who I've seen on many other interviews um, with, I notice you're wearing a black tie because it's the end of democracy. <laughs> and I thought, Jerry, I'm not gonna watch any more of your videos ever again because you started that video with your anti-Trump, just views and opinions straight away. I won't watch anymore because, you, because he was instantly trying to say, this is against Donald Trump, not against the Republicans, not against democracy. It was against Donald Trump. Why the hell he said that? And I think that was very childish and immature. I wrote a comment to such a thing, he didn't reply. So anyway, so my point is, there are people out there, if you support Trump, the op opponents will blacklist you and you know, sort of like not talk to you or even hate you for supporting Trump. And I think that is a very, I think that opinion is just, is unnecessary. If yeah, you, I mean, I, so I, I don't hate Scott because he doesn't support Trump and I, Scott don't hate me because I do support Trump. No, I don't There's hate no you, hate. you're just a bastard. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, yeah. we uh, you know, happy yeah. to talk about stuff and but you we know what have I mean? good it's, chats. So, so we can have good chats about it. So, so why? I mean, if everybody agreed on everything, what the hell would we talk about? Yeah, yeah but I, I like having these discussions because yes I do too because it doesn't just reinforce my views I get to hear a different opinion yes I get to see where other people are coming from and that's been a big thing 
yeah, if I see stuff on TV, I can't discuss it with them. It's, oh, they're on the screen. But Scott here, Scott and I, we have different opinions. We can discuss it, and maybe we can even convince each other and go, oh yeah, I see your point. I didn't realise that. Look at it from a different angle. So yeah. um, I, I do listen to Scott uh, quite intensely to what he's got to say. Um, and yeah, as this all started with Trump's history, um, 15, 20 minutes ago, whenever the video started, talking about Trump's history. Yes, he's got some worms in the cupboard. Is that the, is that the phrase? I'm not skeletons ske in the closet. Ske skeletons in the closet. Um, but haven't we all? But overall, he may make a better, pre well, he will make a better president for the people and for the country and quite possibly kick some arse in Europe as well because Europe is going Maybe down the drains. Yeah, it really yeah. does. Yeah. So with that, I'm going to end my conversation, whether it's not Scott's going to end this or not, but I'm going to say farewell to my viewers. Thank you very much for watching. Please write a comment. Tell me what your thoughts are on any part of this conversation that Scott and I have had. Um, your views, your opinions, or whether I'm wrong or Scott's wrong, it doesn't matter. But keep them polite, keep them friendly and uh, tasteful. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Please take care and all the very best. See you in my next video. Bye-bye. Cheers, guys. Anh mà vừa tự tay, anh mà vừa bé tay Rồi đi tu vừa tay, quá tôi thật thú thấy sâu Anh mà vừa sang loài, 